Hey travelers, it's LSD789 with another video. I'm going to show you where you can get the repair tool and the latent heart. It's right here, it's in the new The Dark Horizon DLC. We need two keys, the first key will give you the repair tool and the second one will give you the latent heart. And you need to reroll the campaign until all the adventure until you find this area with two empty spots. If it has one empty spot, just keep rerolling until you find it uh, with two empty spots. Because we need uh, one key for one shield and the other key for the other one. But yeah, wait, let me show you where I'm on the map. It's right at the start, so just reroll the map until you see these two empty spots. And now we need to make it to the dormant uh, Nerudian facility and the terminal station. That's the train station. And those you can't get in the one shot, so you need to reroll your one shot. And but yeah, I will see you at the locations to get the keys, and then we can open these barriers. So yeah, now we're at the dormant Nerudian facility, it's an old map. We need to get through this door, but we need a key for it. And behind there is a memory core we need. I will quickly show you which way we need to go. There should be a ledge we can jump off and... Uh, we use elevate and we need to go to the control room and kill all the enemies. But yeah, this is a side dungeon uh, you need to find in the same map. This side dungeon can be anywhere. I think we need to go straight. To give an option here, you can kill the enemies or not. You also get a, I think a trait doing this. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, this build that I've pretty good. When I get hit, all the enemies nearby get exploded and shocked. It's good for just running around. I will link this in the video description. Let me see. Should be an open area. Here we go. Yeah, we need to release that poison to kill all the enemies. And we can jump off here. I just fall off, don't jump. Just keep going this way. Uh, enemies above me can't hit me. We have five minutes, but we have enough time. Here's an elevator to go up. And the key should be upstairs in the control room. There we go. Uh, I think when we pick up the key, I think the best is to leave the dungeon and go back uh, to the entrance. So the key is right here. Bio control cliff. You can push this button to kill the enemies. And the waypoint's right there, then we can leave the dungeon. I think there should be an aberration as well. There he is. Shoot, I'm melee and he is fine. Put in YouTube chapters so you can just skip to the parts you're interested in. Okay. So now we have the key, we can exit the dungeon and we can go back in at the entrance. So I'll see you back inside. So now we're back inside, we have the key for this door. And now we're gonna get the memory core. You can go back now with the core and get the repair tool, but I would suggest just keep going and get both keys. So you can get both at once. So this is the memory core.
Now we need to go to the terminal station, that's the train area, to get another uh, memory core. But yeah, I will see you guys there. So yeah, once you make it to the terminal station, it's the old map, a side dungeon. I'll show the map. You need to make it all the way down to the train station. And at the end, we need to do a little secret to get the last key. And again, you can skip to the part you're interested in. There's also another secret on this train uh, for an amulet. Just need to make it to the end. Kill the enemies. I have spent too much time in the company of machines. To converse now with the being of flesh and bone is such an honor. Machines fear nothing, not pain, nor death. But you Yeah, the side engine you can find. Uh, yeah, sometimes you need to look a bit, but uh, it should be on the map. If the two keys are not in the stuff in there, uh, the two maps should be here for sure. So depending on the start of this whole map, you know if you're gonna get both items. They hurt me, they die. I think the secret is coming up. Takes an amulet. That should be fine. It's in this chest. The hyperconductor. I think it does the same as the Invoker Prime perk. You get two charges for your skills, which can be pretty good. I was using this half side with the shocker mutator. I will link a video on how to get the harvest side. It's a good one. You don't have to play this on Apocalypse, uh, on any difficulty will work, but Apocalypse you get more XP.
Sorry, that's it. Yep. Now we can exit the train, but I think we need to get on top of the train to get the key we need. I think we're also getting the rocket hammer melee weapon. complete but not really we want to get in there we want to go on top there so we could leave now but we shouldn't take we go under here it's a chest that you can pick up go on the ladder And then we can jump yeah. in the hole. I could use that. The Adam Smasher. It's a pretty cool one. And here's the memory core. The cipher. So with both of these keys we can go back to the first area, the overlook waypoint. And I will see you guys there. So yeah, now with both memory cores in our inventory, we can go back to the Overlook waypoints. Uh, yeah, we have the Cypher and the memory core. Now we can place them both in here. Don't think it matters where you put uh, them. This one. There we go. So the first reward is the repair tool. And then the second one is the latent heart. There we go. So let's see what the repair tool does. Fires a stream of nanomachines dealing damage to enemies or healing allies for 3% of their max health per second. And the nano also restores Nerudian tech uh, energy for turrets and drones. Oh, that's really good for my turret build. And then the relic. Latent heart on use absorb 95% of incoming damage for 5 seconds. Upon expiring, the absorbed damage is then uh, applied to the wearer at a rate of 10% of the total absorbed damage per, per second for 10 seconds. Damage reduction does not apply to shields. Well, that's good, so it's like a damage over time instead of one big hit. That's good. Let me quickly check how this works. So if I get my turret. I'll make it shoot. So I can now give it ammo by shooting it. Wait, it does work. It's kind of hard to heal my drone, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys think it's useful. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD789. Hello. Out. Hello.